welcome to next uh, lecture of thermal engineering of ktu to in today's class we will discuss the module 2 and uh, we'll have an introduction of the uh, topic steam turbines steam turbines are mechanical devices which uses steam to produce power the high pressure uh, steam is expanded in the turbine during expansion rotor of the turbine rotates thus giving power work output work is developed at the expense of steam enthalpy now the classification of steam turbines are one is the impulse turbine other is a reaction turbine a simple drawing of the impulse and reaction turbines are given here this is a schematic diagram of a impulse turbine and this is a schematic diagram of a reaction turbine but these are not the actual diagrams but for the uh, basic working principle explanation we can use these two diagrams now in a impulse turbine what is there is the as the steam enters the turbine through the nozzle it will be at a very high velocity so the complete expansion of steam happens inside the nozzle and it will have a very high kinetic energy and that kinetic energy will be converted to work when it impinges on the turbine blades now in the case of reaction turbine reaction turbines are uh, heavy duty turbines their work output will be very high now the working principle will be slightly different from the impulse turbine in reaction turbine the steam expands inside the turbine and as it expands the work will be delivered to the rotor of the turbine here we don't use an external nozzle the expansion of the steam happens inside the turbine in the case of impulse turbine the expansion of steam happens outside the turbine it is the kinetic energy conversion to work happens inside the turbine now we will discuss the working principle of an impulse turbine now impulse turbines working principle is like this steam at high pressure passes through the nozzle where the velocity of steam increases the high velocity velocity jet of steam strikes on the blade of impulse turbine the blades are shaped like curved buckets the blades change the direction of steam flow without changing its pressure the force due to change of momentum causes the rotation of the turbine shaft this is how a steam uh, impulse turbine works now here there is a simple diagram is drawn over here you can from this diagram it is very simple and very easy to understand how it works this is a nozzle coming over here and from the nozzle high velocity jet will be ejecting or to the blade of the uh, turbine and as it in impinges on the blade of the turbine momentum transfer take place and the blade will get mom high mo uh, momentum to rotate now on the left side here we can see a graph that is the first column this in this column it represents the nozzle and in the second column represent the moving blades <coughs> i already told that the expansion of steam happens fully in the nozzle so during expansion the pressure will drop that is pressure from p1 will drop to p2 now in the moving blade the pressure remains constant because there is no expansion of steam taking place when the steam expands in the nozzle the velocity of the steam increases and we have learned in the previous chapter that the steam nozzle is used to increase the velocity of the steam and one of the application is 
in the steam turbine. Now when the steam flows over the moving blade, the kinetic energy or the kinetic energy is by virtue of the velocity of the fluid. So the kinetic energy reduces or the velocity of the fluid reduces and this reduction in kinetic energy is converted to the work. Here you can see a cutout diagram of a impulse steam turbine. There is he, this is the moving disc and the shaft is attached to this. This is from the side view of the turbine and the nozzle is fitted over at a one end. and as steam enters through this passage and it uh, goes over the blade and exits through this passage. Now the enlarged diagram of the interaction of steam with the blade is given over here. So you can see that the blades are arranged in curved shape like this and steam will be entering inclined to the blade like this. The steam will enter like this. It moves over the blade in a curved path and exits like this. As it moves through the curved path like this, it will impart momentum to the blade and the blade will move in this direction. Steam, uh, the, the steam will enter in this direction and exit in the opposite direction the blade will move opposite to the direction of exiting steam like this next we will discuss the working principle of a reaction turbine in the reaction turbine the reaction turbine will have a set of fixed blade a row will be having first row will be a fixed blade row and second row will be a moving blade row now in this reaction then this reaction turbine will have three stages first stage will contains a fixed blade and a moving blade second stage again a fixed blade moving blade sorry this can this is a four four stage reaction turbine first stage second stage the third stage and the fourth stage now in every stages the pressure will drop gradually so at the beginning of the reaction turbine the reaction turbine expansion the steam pressure will be at a very high value and as it uh, moves over the uh, each and every blade its pressure drops gradually gradually like this okay so pressure drop is gradual throughout the flow in the reaction turbine now regarding the velocity velocity will increase in the fixed blades so we can say that in the reaction turbine the fixed blades will act like a nozzle in the case of a impulse turbine so it is similar to the function of a nozzle in the reaction turbine we don't use nozzles we use only fixed blades so it is as the steam flows through the fixed blades it expands and its velocity increases now in the moving blades these blades are attached directly to the rotor of the uh, turbine as the steam enters the moving blade the increased velocity will reduce or decreases and this decrease in velocity is converted to work again in the second stage it enters the a set of fixed blade and the velocity again increases since the pressure drops and then it enters the moving blade its velocity uh, velocity drops and the work is it is converting to work so reaction turbines the advantage of reaction turbine that it can produce maximum work from the steam 
and the efficiency of reaction turbines are considered higher than the impulse turbine so it is used for heavy a uh, work output applications in this type of turbine there is a gradual uh, pressure drop and takes place continuously over the fixed and moving blades the function of the fixed blade is the same as that of the nozzle that they are uh, they that they alter the direction of the steam as well as allow it to expand to larger velocity as the steam passes over the moving blades its kinetic energy obtained due to fall in pressure is absorbed by them this figure shows everything now we will uh, discuss uh, the comparison of a two turbines that is impulse turbine and the reaction turbine regarding the area of blade channels now the area of blade channels are constant in the case of impulse turbine because inside the impulse turbine there is no uh, expansion of steam the pressure remains constant but in the case of reaction turbine it should be varying and it's it is of the converging type blades profile type and it is a aerofoil type blade structure admission of steam not all round or not complete all round or complete means the steam won uh, occupy the complete space inside the turbine in the case of impulse turbine it touches only the blade portions but in the case of reaction turbine but in the case of reaction turbine it moves over the complete portion space inside the turbine expansion of steam or pressure drop happens only in nozzles and in the case of reaction turbine it happens in both fixed and unmoving blades power not much power can be developed much power can be developed space requires less space for same power requires more space for same power regarding efficiency it's very low the reaction turbine efficiency is high because the expansion of steam happens in different stages suitability suitable for small power requirement suitable for medium and high power requirement and the blade manufacture is uh, comparatively it, the, the structure of the impulse turbine is uh, very simple and they it is easy to construct or manufacture the blade but in the case of reaction turbine it is very difficult to construct 